everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to see love in the general for the sign of gemini so watch this video if you're a gemini sun moon rising venus or if you're dealing with one keep in mind this is a general reading so take what resonates and leave the rest if you want to have a personal reading link is in the description if you want to follow my instagram where i share weekly and monthly horoscope astrology manifestation tips and all of that crystal information and so much more so if you want to uh, have a sneak peek in all of this then the link to my instagram is in the description box below you can go check out and give me a follow there as well and if you don't already know i'm a gemini sun myself so hey gemini love being a gemini love reading for gemini let's see messages for gemini for week ahead so gemini let's see your messages a week ahead give me one more shuffle all right let's see so what is the blessing coming in for gemini for week ahead please what is the blessing the blessing that is coming in is the fool card like what can be better than this gemini it's a absolute delight to have a fool card <laughs> as your blessing i will explain it to you just give me a moment and then what can be a possible blockage for gemini your blockage is the wheel of fortune all right makes sense and then what is the advice for gemini your advice is the three of cups with the seven of cups all right gemini so i see that your blessing first of all is the fool card so i see that a new chapter is going to start in your life maybe recently you went through something gemini where you felt like um it's just over you know i'm just getting that um uh, message in my head that it's over it's done it's dusted um the end you know that kind of a thing so maybe you came across a situation um where you felt like it was over like nothing can be done to repair it nothing can change like it's just over you know and i see that you might have felt a little disappointed and you felt like what what what's going to uh, be my next step like what will i do and like what will happen next and universe is telling you that if universe has closed one door for you uh, another door is opening you know and the universe is never going to leave you midway um, just know that whatever is happening is happening for your greater good so if a chapter in your life came to an end simultaneously something much more better and much more aligned is also on its way and universe is giving you that new beginning so some of you may be um a relationship ended and now you're going to meet somebody who's going to be much better of a companion for you know or maybe you'll just go on a single who journey whatever whatever is good for you basically and then let's say um your career came to an end so maybe you're going to find a much better career option or maybe you will start your own business whatever it is universe is telling you that a new chapter is going to begin in your life and it's going to be like a major twist in your life so that is something uh what is your possible blockage is the wheel of fortune so i see gemini uh with this new beginning happening the problem with some of you would be to accept this new beginning and you would try to uh you know like stay in your comfort zone or you would not try to go with the flow you would try to obstruct the flow of life and you will try to um just stay stagnant and the universe is telling you that the wheel is in motion and you have to uh, accept this change that has happened in your life and you have to go forward you cannot stay stuck you know so this is your message to go with the flow if universe has opened a new chapter for you you need to go for that and do not stand in your own way all right so wheel of fortune as your blockage is that you are trying to um, control the flow of life and universe is telling you that you can't do it so your message is to go with the flow that universe is presenting you and if universe is trying to take you in a new direction in a different direction it is for your own good so don't try to obstruct it all right so that is what it is and then your advice again seven of cups with the three of cups again universe is telling you that there is so much to celebrate ahead for you better things are coming in for you you will be finding your own tribe like if you've left behind some people uh just know that better people much more aligned people are coming your way you know three of cups is when you find your own tribe so i see that you will be meeting people who will be much more aligned to you and your life purpose and uh they will be more connected with you and you will be forming uh solid bonds with them just because you've left people behind don't think that it's over like you are going to meet some of the most amazing people in your journey ahead if you trust it and then another advice for you is seven of cups uh it is asking you to clear any sort of illusion if you're trying to build castles up in the air don't do that try to take heed of the situation live in reality and uh, try to take um, note of what is actually happening at the ground level and then only uh, move forward don't try to make uh, plans up in the air and try to go forward with half knowledge don't do that all right do not uh, waste your time in confusion if you have any confusion uh, go after seek the answer and then make plans based on reality don't try to um just like, try to hang up in the air don't do that 
and also don't try to do too many things at once seven of cups is when you know you are trying to do too many things at once and then you waste a lot of time and you end up doing nothing so don't do that all right all right so let's see gemini now let's see gemini's career for week ahead so give me the present situation for gemini in career what's happening so in the present we have the knight of cups looks like gemini you are in a hurry to start something now this can be a new job it can be a new business whatever i see that there is something or maybe a new project for some of you um, i don't know you are in a hurry uh, to get something started you're just in a hurry to like just get into something and do something about it very quickly and then move out of it very quickly so it looks like gemini you're very uh, restless when it comes to something in your career you quickly want to make a decision there all right what is the blockage for gemini in career though that gemini needs to, your blockage is king of cups so gemini i see that one of your blockages you waste a lot of time uh, doing a lot of things i don't know what are you doing maybe you're trying to apply for a job and you applied it like at 100 places and you know you're not focusing on actually sitting and preparing for the job interview and try to to crack the interview basically so you know your attention is too scattered right now you're trying to do too many things even if you're in business i see that you have a lot going on in your business and you're trying to do too many things at once and then what it is leading to it's leading to a compromised quality you're not able to deliver on time the quality isn't great um uh you're not able to do to handle a lot of things so generally stop wasting time doing too many things try to do one or two things and try to do them perfect or close to perfect at least all right so that is your blockage something that you need to keep in mind you're trying to waste a lot of time is what i see keep i just keep on seeing that seven of cups and now again king of cups trying to do too many things and then not doing anything what is the um outcome for gemini in career for week ahead what's going to happen we have two of cups wow so i see gemini that um um your career situation will improve and it will improve with help of someone so if you are trying to struggle alone in your career right now this is a great time to be in partnership or at least um invite support and i see that support is going to be around you we also had three of cups here which shows to me that you know you have people who are in alignment with you they have the same goals and ambitions and vision um as yours the only thing that is required of you is to connect with them so your message again with the two of cups in your career i see that um somebody is going to come forward and help you um to stabilize your career so that is that some of you you will be signing a new deal or a contract um um something like like a partnered venture may start for some of you if you are in business even if you are in job i see that somebody is just going to come forward to your rescue and this person is going to help you navigate your workload pressure right now and things will become better with help of someone so that is your outcome which is beautiful i see that you will be able to attain that stability that you are trying to do you know two of cups is basically stability so i see that you will be able to attain that which is great now let's see what is the advice for gemini so career your advice again the world card gemini try to go with the flow try to complete what you start i see that you've started a lot of stuff and now you're not able to complete them so your advice is to complete what you started try to go with the flow do not try to fasten the process of life and don't try to slow it down as well you need to understand that life is going at its own pace and you need to catch up you can't fasten it neither can you slow it down okay so that is that now let's see your love life gemini what's happening with my gems love life give me the present for gemini in love what's happening queen of swords ooh gemini looks like you are a wounded tigress when it comes to love right now i see that somebody might have taken advantage of you um or maybe somebody just did something you you went through a loss or a grieving period in your love life and you are hurt gemini you are hurt when it comes to your love i see that you're trying to hide your emotions you might be feeling a lot right now but you're trying to like maintain this cold bitch face and you're trying to show the world that you don't give a shit but internally it might be paining of course so you're trying to cover up your emotions is what i see simultaneously i'm also seeing that you're trying to strategize for the future you're trying to just see what's going to happen in future and how i'm going to navigate and how i'm going to handle and all of that so uh, some of you um you might be a widow you might be a divorcee or maybe you lost a child recently so i definitely see that you might have been going through a grieving period and maybe that was like a major ending that universe was telling like you went through a major ending and now a new door is being open to you you know so i see that some of you um some of it was just a loss of a relationship if it was not a loss of a person it was loss of a relationship um something anyway what's the blockage for gemini in love your blockage is the page of wands 
I see Gemini. Um, I, I'll just tell you. I'll get back to this. What is the outcome for Gemini in love? So the outcome is of sword. Wow, this is nice. And then what is the advice? What is the advice for Gemini? Your advice is a three of ones. Wow, I like it. So I see Gemini. So I already told you right now, you might be going through a grieving period and all of that. Um, the blockage for you with the page of ones, I see that Gemini, when it comes to love, um, you're not feeling that initiation anymore. You feel like I'm not having it with me to start something new. I don't know if I want a relationship or not. I'm not feeling it. So right now that creative spark or that just spark is missing in you. You don't feel it. And you don't want to take any initiation when it comes to your love life. You know, you feel like you're done and you don't have anything left and you just can't do it anymore. So that that might be your feeling right now. And that is something which you need to work upon. If you need to um, have a relationship, have a fruitful association in the future, then you need to understand that the breakups and separations and everything is part of the journey and you had to go through them because you had to clear your karma. You had to learn some lessons and that was about it. So whatever has happened, now it is in the past and you need to put it in the past and you need to focus on the future. So you need to bring that creativity and spark back in your life. And how will you do that? By trying to get out of your comfort zone, trying to push your limits, push your boundaries, trying to do things that you have not done before and just bringing in uh, more things that bring joy in your life. Okay, so when you will do that, when you will test your own limits, when you will push your own limits, that's when that creativity surge is going to come back in your life. And then simultaneously, it's going to affect other areas of your life as well, such as relationship. Um, your outcome with the Ace of Swords, I see there's a new beginning in love. So Gemini, I see that you will be having a new beginning when it comes to your love life. Some of you, you will be connecting with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, just like you, somebody who's going to be very mentally stimulating and this person is going to be like, uh, very very upfront very cutthroat just like you um but they, they're going to be very honest as well and i see it's going to be a very very beautiful connection where there's going to be a lot of honest communication one-on-one -on -one. so that's what i see if you're looking for a new beginning gemini I definitely see there's a new beginning a lot of clarity coming in i also see that right now if you're feeling a little bit foggy and you're missing that clarity universe is going to give you clarity like universe is going to make it very clear to you um, your path ahead and how to get there basically but then for that you need to push your own limits you need to come out of your comfort zone any other advice yeah five of ones you need to clear the confusion do not stay stuck i see that you know you keep on confusing yourself by overwhelming yourself with too many things so your um again your advice is to clear your confusion make up your mind and then go forward don't stay stuck in confusion all right so that is a very clear, loud message for you, Gemini. And also stay optimistic about your love life. I just picked the deck and this, this card came up. Some of you, I see that right now you don't feel very positive when it comes to the topic of love. You feel like it's never going to happen. And universe is telling you that the positive thinking and optimism is going to bring you what you deserve. So stay optimistic about your love life. Just because you had a failed relationship or marriage, it doesn't mean the end. You just need to know that. You know, first of all, never try to be with somebody who doesn't want to be with you. Like, that's the worst thing that you can do. So if somebody doesn't want to be with you, uh, let them go with your open arms. Like, just let them go. Because when you will, I see someone much more aligned and better for you will come your way. All right, give me a message for Gemini, please. Um, give me an oracle. Keep an open mind. That is great. And then we have free yourself. So I see, Gemini, you need to free yourself from your own mental blocks and your own chit-chatter. You feel like... Your life is out of control. You feel like, you know, just life is going um, in whatever way and you feel like you can't do anything about it. But universe is telling you that you can actually co-create with it. So it is time for you to take back control of your life. And then also you need to keep an open mind. I see Gemini, some of you, you're also very stubborn when it comes to your love life. Like you have a very set criteria for your relationship and you're not trying to look in a very different direction. And that is three of ones again. You know, you need to push your limits and you need to explore unknown. You need to um, let universe um, like take you to a much more aligned path. And no matter, it can be something different what you, from what you expected. You know, most of the times things that you manifest, they come to you in an unexpected ways. But when it happens, it's much more grand than what you expected. So universe here is telling you that maybe your partner, your soulmate is going to be a bit different than what you usually thought and expected. But when it happens, you will realize why you both were meant to be, you know. So do not 
have fixed notions about your relationship, try to have a much more open mindset when it comes to your love life. And if you do, I see that you will be able to attract a very aligned relationship. All right, Gemini. So that is about it. Uh, I hope this helps and resonate. If it does, make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment. I will see you very soon in the next video. Till then, you guys take care. Stay safe. Bye.